Hello friends, let us now learn some important points about psychology. Here emotions, emotions, some important one liners. Emotions are strong feelings of whole organism which motivate human behavior. These are definitions. Then values, values are ideals, customs, institutions of a society towards which people of a group have an effective regard are values values are some things which we you know which we which they have a meaning for us like we have some important values like positive values and negative values positive values include cleanliness freedom and education are positive values negative values include cruelty crime blasphemy are negative values then we have opinions opinions are the views held by people on a point of dispute the views which are held by the people on a point of dispute are opinions these are temporary or provisional opinions and these can be subjective in nature then we have beliefs beliefs are the views which are derived from parents or grandparents or other people we respect the views which are derived from parents grandparents and people we respect is belief belief is permanent unstable and almost changing thing is belief belief has a subjective is subjective in nature then we have attitude attitude is relatively enduring organization of belief around an object or subject which will predispose one to respond in a preferential manner like in the attitude we love something we hate something so we give some things preferential so those are preferences to some things so that is our attitude towards things attitudes are those characters which are acquired they are acquired characteristics they they are the permanent ways of behaving they are actually caught not taught we get them just by liking things or uh, they are objective in nature then we have habits habits are an accustomed way of doing things is habits an accustomed way of doing things is habits it is acquired through repetitions these habits are automatic performed only under similar circumstances like eating you have you eating habits some have drinking habits smoking all those are different habits for a person now emotions we will learn some points about emotions emotions are strong feelings of whole organism which motivate human behavior so this is the feeling towards some things those are emotions types of emotions if you see the most common emotion is fear fear is the most common emotion followed by phobia phobia is if the fear is exaggerated then that is phobia anger rage reaction of offensive type or destructive in nature then we have anxiety anxiety is having tension or pain it may lead to tension or pain that is anxiety love that is feeling of attachment to some patient some people is uh, emotion some person is emotion next we have learning some important points about learning learning is any relative permanent change in behavior that occurs has a result of practice and experience we will learn through practice we will learn through experience and we will try to change our behavior according to that which we learn condition affecting learning conditions affecting learning are intelligence age learning situation motivation and physical health will affect the learning then we we see the types of learning are of three types we have cognitive learning then affect learning 
cognitive learning is associated with knowledge effective learning is associated with attitude then psychomotor learning is associated with skills so these are the types of learning that is cap cognitive effective and psychomotor learning then we have next important thing is about intelligent quotient iq or intelligent quotient iq is equal to mental age by chronological age into 100 the first intelligent test is given by binet and simon 1896 stern's iq test stern's iq test is calculated for children then we have Weschle's adult intelligence scale. Weschle's adult intelligence scale is given by David Weschler. It is given by David Weschler. This Weschle's adult intelligence scale is the first intelligence scale which is given for adult population. The first, it is also the first IQ test based on normal or Gasserian distribution. That is Weschle's adult intelligence scale. Then um, we have something about levels of intelligence based on IQ. Based on IQ, we can divide the people into le levels of intelligence. So IQ, first idiot. Idiot has IQ of 0 to 24. Imbecile has IQ of 25 to 49. Moron has IQ of 50 to 69. Borderline has IQ of 70 to 79. Low normal has IQ of 80 to 89. Nine, normal is 90 to 109. Superior is 110 to 119. Very superior is 120 to 139. When near genius is more than 140 IQ. Categories of mental retardation are if less than 20, then it is profound mental retardation. 21 less than 20 it is profound mental retardation 21 to 34 it is severe mental retardation 35 to 49 it is moderate mental retardation 50 to 69 mild mental retardation more than 70 normal IQ more than 70 we can call it has normal IQ. 50 to 69 is both mild mental retardation and also moron. These both are very important levels of intelligent quotient and the classification. Many questions have been asked based on these. So thank you for watching.